You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Uh, today we're going to kick off Summerfest 2016. And I have one of the volunteers, someone I've known for quite a while, Nancy Crucius. Hi, Nancy. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Again. Welcome to see. Welcome to uh, Greater Brockton. You're going to tell us about the Summerfest entertainment. There's something for everyone at there Summerfest. Is, there is something for everyone at Summerfest. Now, I know that you guys are a big committee, you're a big group, and you've been meeting probably since the last Summerfest, right? We meet at least once a month, if not twice a month, mm -hmm. yeah, on Summerfest all year round. So what do we have to look forward to? I'm just going to establish real quick, it's Saturday, August 20th from 10 to 4 on mm -hmm. the grounds of Brockton High School. So now that you know that, that's the date, rain or shine, if it's, out, shine. If it's nice, it's outside, if it's not, it's inside, because Brockton right. High is big enough. So right. what do we have to look forward to? Um, we have four venues with music and performers, mm -hmm. um, plus we have crafts for the kids and food, so it's, it's, there's a lot of activities going on. And um, we have two outside stages, um, though they're kind of stages, it's called staging areas because we don't have an actual stage, mm -hmm. um, with performers. And then inside there's also a DJ with performers in the green calf and a DJ in the blue calf. So if it rains, the outside stages move inside to the red and the yellow. So everything, everything is rain or shine. Um, on the outside stage, the main stage is just outside the Fine Arts Building. Mm -hmm. And we have um, the bigger bands, the four, five, six piece bands that play on that stage. Um, Jay Crucius from Thunderbolt Productions is the sound engineer for that stage. And then the smaller stage is going to be just outside the Azure Calf, and Sound Lab um, is going to take care Ooh. of that, that smaller stage. They're going to have singles and duos and maybe one small four-piece band um, in that area. So we do have an awful lot. We've got 25 um, mm -hmm. performers this year, um, not including dancers. And we do have two dance schools as well that are coming, Fly Nation and um, the Multicultural Dance Company from Stacy Adams, those two from Stacy Adams. Oh, okay. Empress is going to dance as well. Um, the Karate School is going to put on a, on a show also. So we've got things to go in between the music. Um, on the, on the, um, for the music, we have um, the replicators from the Philajek Music School in East Bridgewater. And uh, they're going to do two shows, two 45-minute shows. Um, the Brockton Swinging Singers from the Brockton Council on Aging will be singing. Uh, Amy Corum has, uh, teaches piano, and she has several piano students who are going to be in the Fine Arts Building during the art, uh, mm -hmm. art show, so that's good. The Boxwood Saxophone Quartet will be playing two sets as well. They're going to be inside in one of the, one of the cafeterias. We also have a Steadfast Music School from Easton, and they're going to have a small band and also two individual vocalists. And they're new this year. Usually they do a few other things. They have a table with crafts and stuff, but this year they wanted to use some of their performers mm -hmm. um, in, in going um, along with our entertainment. Um, Dee Fret, who is an up-and-coming uh, young, very young uh, band, they're doing a lot in Brockton right now. They're going to be playing for us as well. Sadie Vada, she's a Brockton mm -hmm. High graduate. Uh, she is part of Cruel Miracle. Mm -hmm. She will be performing. Uh, we have uh, Getty D. He's a Brockton hip hop singer. He performed last year. He's going to come again this year. We have the Formidables. They're a women's barbershop uh, quartet. They are really, really good, really phenomenal. Um, Heffernan and McNeil, um, they're a duo and they'll be performing. They were there here last year also and so they wanted to come back. They just emailed us recently and said, can we come back? And we said, oh sure, we'd love to have you. Um, we have another small um, four-piece band from East Bridgewater called Four in a Row. Again, they're high school students. Um, high school just maybe entering college. They're, they're young also. Diamond Guts as a band from the Cape. They're coming up from the Cape that day. Uh, we have a vocalist, Lindsay Wolf. She's also from uh, Philajek Music School. Uh, she's a very talented young, young woman. She's, she's really good. Um, Sound Lab, the, um, they have a DJ business here too, mm -hmm. and they're teaching students to be DJs, but they also have vocalists um, that um, record at their, at their site. And so we have two of their vocalists, Pat uh, Despage and Chaz, and they're both gonna perform uh, during, during the day. 
And then the YMCA um, is also teaching piano these days, and um, she has several students who want to perform as well. So we have, and we have several others who are in the wings, we're just waiting for confirmation from them. So we have quite an eclectic group. This, they're just kind of all over the place. I would, I would absolutely say yeah. so. It just yeah. keeps getting bigger and better every it year, is. and you get people that want to return. You yes. have fan favorites, people that follow these folks. Like I know yes. Amy Corum for years and years, and you know she did that wonderful big symphony concert yes. Uh, yes. Uh, with the animal, kind of the fiftieth year celebration. Right, that was terrific. Um, you know she's she's a, you know just a big. Brock and Booster. She's been here all her life, right. like we have. Right, and, right. And uh, you know, this summer fest, you and I were talking before we started recording, go all the way back to 1983. Uh, then it took a hiatus and went into summer Sunday in summer the park, Sunday and in the it park, disappeared yeah. and came back to summer fest. So it's good. How many people are involved in this group? You got a, a we whole have a small group. Small group. Yep. There's about ten of us. Okay. Ten of us that are in the summer fest committee. Right, but so. but. You get a lot of volunteers. We have that a lot day. of volunteers. Do you yep. need volunteers? Yes, desperately. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we could. We need about fifty to sixty volunteers during the day, and we are looking for anyone who would like to volunteer to help out, uh, whether it be a runner, you know, helping figure out what we need, uh, water or stuff um, in different places, or just bringing um, someone from one from one area to another where they need to set the tables and things like that. So yes, we do need volunteers. It'd be great if, if people want to volunteer and they can just um, go to the website um, or Facebook. Okay, and it says on Facebook, I just looked it up before I came here, about um, Summerfest Brockton, okay? Okay. Uh, do you have the website? I do. Okay, we'll, website, we'll put that up on the screen yeah. too. And I am going to have Jean Rowan come in here and talk about the volunteers. Yes. And Scott Holmes, who's uh, been chair of the Community School Advisory Board. He's been involved in the community schools for years. He was right. a board member here. Yes. He's going to give us the general info. Right. We're going to put this all together in one show. Normally I do nine minute segments, you get a quick hit. Yeah. But you gave us all the entertainment, the food. Um, the food, what kind yeah. Of food? We have, we have. Okay, Chatwells is going to um, have 450 free lunches for um, school-age students, okay. okay? And then Lady C and J is coming. Everybody likes that. Oh, yeah. Todd Petty's Italian sausages. And maybe Chinese. He has Chinese Oh, he sausages. has Chinese, too? He oh, does. okay. It's like that red sauce. Kind oh, of yeah. Like oh, I love ribs. that. That's, good that's really good. Um, Orange Leaf is coming back again. Equal Exchange will be there. And Simpson Spring. So okay. that's what we have right now. I know that Janet is working on a few more. She's out, you know, trying to um, get a few more people to come in off of food, but um, she's working on it. We still have four weeks before this all takes place, so we've got a lot. We still have a lot of work to do, but so, things are coming. We have two crafters so far mm -hmm. um, coming um, that will sell their wares. I am looking for a few more crafters also. And you have tables with nonprofits and people. And we have tables for nonprofits. So they yes. gave me the one minute. Okay. You get thirty seconds. Of I get thirty it. seconds. Right now. <laughs> what do you want to say in the last thirty seconds before we close this segment up? Everyone should come to Summerfest. It is a wonderful day. It's free to come and enjoy all the children's crafts and everything you, there is to offer. Brockton is a wonderful place and you should really enjoy what we offer. Thanks for doing what you do and thanks for being Thank on. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.